Welcome back to the Halftime Show. I'm Vanessa Richardson, and I'm here with UND head wrestling coach, Jason Warthen. Coach, you've added two former Purdue Boilermakers as assistants. You have a former UND alum in your lineup as well as a coach. How are they adding to the program? Yeah, the, the Purdue guys are both Indianapolis um, high school wrestlers, and so they know the area as far as recruiting goes. They have big names. Um, and then, obviously, wrestling at a Big Ten school, um, you know, Cash was a All American his uh, at his time at Purdue, and um, uh, Matt Fields also started some some matches there and had some huge wins. So, you know, having those guys bringing that experience into our room is is huge. And this is the first time we've kind of gone outside our uh, U Indy base to bring in. Uh, so. You know, those guys have a different perspective. Um, it really adds a lot. And, and George um, wrestled for us, and he's going to help with the, the bigger weights. And so he kind of knows my system. So I kind of have the best of both worlds there. The GLVC announced that they'll be adding wrestling next year. You know, you've been competing as an individual team for a long time. How do you think that that will help the program, and will it change it, if at all? Yeah, so Division Two wrestling is growing. Um, you know, they've added teams uh, the, the last couple years, and so it is huge for um, for wrestling, especially at the Division II level, giving kids opportunities to go and wrestle in college. Um, the GLVC is going to, wrestling-wise, hit the ground running. They're, um, it's going to be really, really super competitive. Now, um, half of the, our conference will compete in a different regional, how we qualify for nationals. So it doesn't affect too much how the end of the season will go. Um, but it's going to be great experience for the guys and, and create some rivalries that maybe have not been there in the past. And so for an athletic department to look and see, we wrestle Bellarmine or Parkside or Maryville. Um, it's apples to apples with other programs here. So it, it, that, that rivalry is, is going to be a great thing for us. What new returners do you have to your starting lineup that we should be looking out for? Yeah, so we lost two huge ones. Uh, Josh Kiefer at 125 was a three-time All-American. Um, so there's some big shoes to fill. And we've historically had some really good lightweights. So um, I, I believe that's still going to be the case. We have uh, a couple, three guys uh, competing for that, that spot at 125 that's vacant. And at 165, uh, we had a senior there, Clayton Moneybreak, that um, graduated. And we will probably see a familiar face fill that void at 165 and Barry McGinley so um, two two spots but we return most of our starters so um, it's a, a, a experienced bunch. Nick Kroom was a national runner-up last year what leadership is he going to bring to this team? He is he's tough I mean he brings uh, a uniqueness that um, you know we don't see very often um, he's a quiet guy um, he's taken more of a leadership role um, and, and stepping up, but he, um, you know, his work ethic and his toughness is unlike anybody I've ever coached. You have an extended practice room now. How does that help as you go into the season? Is there an excitement there? Oh, absolutely. It was uh, much needed. So we have 35-ish uh, guys on the team. Um, we added 35 feet in the wrestling room. Um, it's been a, a huge uh, benefit for those guys. Uh, guys are running into each other. Um, they don't necessarily like the sprints. Um, it's, uh, it's made that a little bit longer, but it, it's been awesome. So. Well, wrestling is growing in Division Two. if you can't tell. Thank you so much, Coach Worthen. We're looking forward to the season. Colin and Dave are going to get you started in the second half soon. You're watching the GLVC Sports Network.